G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we have a very special episode all about magnet cleaners. We're going to show you the top selling magnet cleaners and we're going to play a fun game in which we road test them to see once and for all which is the best magnet cleaner. We'll talk about the game that we're going to play to prove which is the best magnet cleaner in just a minute. But first of all, let's have a look at the magnet cleaners that we've got. We have the Magfloat, the Tunes, and the Flipper. Now, there's a few different options for sizes of tanks, replacement blades, and other accessories that go with these magnet cleaners. So we'll look at them one brand at a time and tell you why we've got these ones here today. These are the three brands which are most popular on the Gallery Aquatica website. And the reason why we've chosen them today is because they're all well-established brands that are very popular. And a lot of people are very particular about their brand of magnet cleaner. And that's why today we're going to road test them to show you the advantages and disadvantages of these different uh, cleaners. Now, the first is the Magfloat. The Magfloat uh, is one of the original floating magnet cleaners in Australia. And it's one that I've really used probably the most myself. Uh, it has a replaceable blade. This is the jumbo model and this one will do tanks up to 20 mils uh, thick glass. Now, the tank that we're going to be working on today is 12 mil thick. And so, we'll probably be using this one here, the large. And this is for glass up to 16 mil. Now, this one comes without the blade. The blade is an additional extra. Uh, I would always get the blade, but it's a two pack. So you've got a spare when that one uh, wears out. The next is the Tunes. Now the Tunes is a very different looking magnet cleaner to the others in that it's quite narrow. It has, again, a replacement blade. The interesting thing about this one is it's only the blade at the front and the plastic blade on the tail which makes contact with the glass. I find these are a very good magnet cleaner but they are a little bit prone to falling off and without the float, they will fall to the bottom of the tank and you may struggle to find them. But you can buy the floating section for the wet side, which uh, makes it a lot easier to use. It means that you don't have to chase the, uh, the sunk magnet cleaner at the bottom of the tank. Now, the next is the flipper. And uh, on our website, we've got the three different sizes, uh, the nano, the standard, and the max. Um, I typically use the standard on tanks that are 12 mil like the one we're working on today. They come with the blade. The blade is the only part which makes contact apart from two little uh, pads on the, the tail. However, the interesting thing about the flipper is you can flip the wet side and the other, the wet side, the other side of the wet side is a pad and there are some types of algae which that's particularly good for. Uh, I find that it's a, a strong replaceable blade that's very good for Coraline. So, let's talk about the test and the game that we're about to play to work out which is the best magnet cleaner. <laughs> the first test that we're going to be running is going to be a speed test. We're going to have three players each choosing a different magnet cleaner and they're going to have a paddock with which they have to clean in one minute. So the person that cleans the most thoroughly and the best in the minutes that they have will be the winner. So first of all, we'll start by having our players choose their magnet cleaner and explain exactly why they're going for that option. G'day Reefers, it's Friendly Reef Beard here. Today I've chosen the flipper. Everything else is gonna be flipping mad. G'day Reefers, I'm Thomas and I've picked the Tunes Long as it is the sleekest and the best looking one and my favourite. Straight out of the box it works on acrylic and glass tanks and uh, I really like that the blade is double sided. Hi, I'm Ryan and I picked the Magflow because it's the OG. <laughs> 
it's time to divide our tank into our three paddocks. The first is the green. Second is the yellow. And the third is violet. So now we're going to decide who goes first. So I'm going to hide the colour of the pens. Alright, Reef Beard, you get first pick. Green, Green. so you'll be first. That's your section here. Alright, Ched Boy. <laughs> you're yellow, so you'll be second. Tom, you're violet, you're third. So, Tom. I want my pants back. Who was which? Who was second? Ryan. Ryan. Shed boy. <laughs> <laughs> and Ruby. Okay. So, let's get your weapons into the tank. We'll all line up and then we'll start the timer. So to make this fair, everyone's gonna get new blades. So, there's your flipper blade. Chuck that old one out. Look how easy that is to put on. That is quite easy. That's one of the advantages. On the count of three, three, two, one, start. Interesting techniques here. Tom is horizontal, Shed Boy is horizontal, Reefbeard is diagonal. Oh, diagonal. 21 seconds down. Oh. oh no! Oh no! The twins is out! <laughs> We've got to magnet scrape it down! Oh, oh, oh! Almost lost it! <laughs> the uh, the twins is not designed for speed. <laughs> it's designed for thoroughness and certain types of algae that you can't get with anything else. 52, 53, 54. You've got three, two, one, stop! <laughs> Four. All right, that's our one minute. Let's have a look at the results. Oh. So we've had our one minute racing with our magnet cleaners and let's have a look at the results. We've got Reef Beard here. This is actually a really good panel. And so he had the flipper, the flipper standard, which is very good for the 12 mil. Uh, there are a few, uh, you missed a bit here too. There's a couple of bits in the middle. Uh, he looks like he's avoided the bottom. I think that's because he was going, uh, attempting to get rid of the bulk of what was there. So probably a smart move to be honest. But anyway, a very good showing by Reefbeard and the Flipper. Let's have a look at Shed Boys. Shed Boy had the mag flow, and you know what? There's not much algae at the top, is there? <laughs> he's done pretty pretty well. There's certainly some at the bottom, and I think that if he really had a bit more time. He would have got down to the bottom and finished that off perfectly, but uh, I would say that uh, Shed Boy is probably in the lead so far with the, the mag float. <laughs> Let's have a look at Tom with the Tunes. <laughs> so uh, we've manipulated the Radeon lighting schedule to really show up the algae, and boy, I can see a lot of algae on this end here. So you can see this poor Tunes has fallen off. Now, we didn't speak about this at the beginning. Uh, we did have the option to put the float on the tunes, um, but uh, Tom has opted against it and unfortunately it's fallen off and uh, this is actually not very well done. But we're going to play a second game around the other side of the tank. It's going to be all about the thoroughness. I think you'll find that the tunes will be very good in that option, in that game. So let's go around for game number two. Our second test today is going to be all about the thoroughness of the job. We're going to have three sections of the tank, but this time 
time is limitless. They've got as long as they want to do the best job possible. They're each gonna stick with their mainly cleaners as they've chosen, but they get to re-choose another side. So Reef Beard, do you wanna choose first? Yellow. Middle. So you're in the middle. All right, Shed Boy. Uh huh? Shed Boy. No. Tom? Who really gets the dirty end down here? <laughs> Oh, the last time. We'll be just back in the I'll, I'll take the yeah. Alright. I've lost my name. <laughs> Tom? Pick his end. No, you gotta pick. How do you get the clean end again? You just got a clean end on the other side. Yellow. I got me to pick that. Oh no, this is rigged. Pick this one, it's not rigged. Here he is! You're on the end. <laughs> Where am I? You're on the end. <laughs> So you've got all the time in the world, do a thorough job, and I'll go and fix up the other side. So uh, I'm pretty happy with how this is working. I've almost finished my panel here. The other boys are still going, so I reckon I might just cross over here and uh, help Brandon a little, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> One of the main features of the flipper is the small three mil uh, pad on the mat on the blade side that actually allows you to go down near the sand with reducing the amount or the chance of you scratching the glass. So you can go right in there, Get it not get all that algae out, make sure everything's out. And we're good. Uh, I'm really enjoying the sleekness of this twins. It's really good to get in between the gaps and the silicon and everything like that. Um, finding it really easy for some of the newer algae growth and having to go over some of the older bits a little bit more. The competition is over. Let's have a look at the results, starting with the mag flow down in the violet end. And I've already had a bit of a look and I can't really see much algae, apart from possibly a little bit around the edges, but particularly at the bottom here. Now, one of the things I do like about the mag flow is that you can get under the sand line, as long as you're very careful, under the sand line. And so really, there's no excuse for missing these bits just here with this excellent magnet cleaner. But all in all, I'm gonna give it an A plus. It's still a very, very good job and there's pretty much no algae there. Let's have a look at the flipper. So Reefbeard really had an easy section given that he didn't have any sides. And in the bottom uh, section of this tank, there's a very shallow sand bed. And so it, is, it does make it easier to get down right to the, the bottom of the tank in this one. But I can't see any algae. Uh, he fin finished relatively quickly, and it's definitely an A+. <laughs> Let's look at the last section, the green section with the tunes. Now, Tom has done an excellent job. I can hardly see any algae, although there is a little bit up the top and at the bottom. Now, typically, the tunes are very good at this type of algae, and often I'll use tunes for the most stubborn algae because the blade is so sharp. The other thing which is possibly a little bit unfair about this competition is the fact that all of the coral is well off the glass. In some situations, I will specifically use the tunes or maybe even the flipper to get in tight spots because of the low profile of both those magnet cleaners. I also find it quite easy with the, the tunes, given the shape of the head, to get into certain sections on the corners. And it is an excellent uh, magnet scraper. And I think this job probably doesn't do it justice because it is definitely one of the best with the, the stubborn algae. I'm gonna give this section an A, but I will admit this was definitely the, the hardest section and it's also fair to say that the Toon's got the hardest section on the other side of the tank. That's our competition over and I think it's fair to say we all had a flipping good time. The Toon's was traumatized and the mag float was magnificent. 
And whilst it wasn't an overly fair competition, I'm gonna say that the winner today was definitely the mag float, but it was by such a small margin. Any of these magna cleaners are an excellent option for your reef tank. And it's definitely fair to say that depending on your specific requirements, there may be a specific magna cleaner which suits you best. So, thank you so much for watching this episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!